Hey YouTube, Jordan Hipson, founder and CEO of Oversea Real Estate Management. We are a property management company based in Halifax, Nova Scotia, all the way on the east coast of Canada. Since we started over four years ago, we have successfully held over 7,000 reservations, earning more than $3 million for our about 60 plus vacation homes throughout Nova Scotia. Our clients live all over the world. We serve about 19 different time zones. And of course, our guests also come from all over the world. We love what we do. We get to experience really cool people um, that are visiting our home province. And we get to effectively show them around and show them what Nova Scotia is all about. We're so lucky to be able to do what we do every day. Now, of course, we wouldn't be able to do what we do every day without a hell of a lot of technology to support us. We use a combination of hardware and software to make our job possible and to make our business more effective and, of course, more profitable at the end of the day. These are some things that you can implement right away in your vacation rental or in your vacation rental management business to make you more effective as well. I want to preface this by saying we would not have such a strong smart home ecosystem without the software that supports us. Now in this video I am going to focus on the hardware but I wanted to make a special mention to both Guesty, our property management system, and Operto, our smart home management system. These are the essential pieces of software that tie this whole thing together and make what we do possible on a daily basis. So let's jump into it. What is the hardware that we use to manage our vacation rental business? The first piece is the heart of your smart home ecosystem. It is your smart hub. Right here, I've got the Samsung SmartThings Smart Hub. This is a fantastic product, a very robust product that connects with almost everything you can imagine in your smart home ecosystem. I've even seen smart fridges, smart washers, smart dishwashers, smart hair dryers, like almost everything connects with this little device. You can buy this as a one-off on Amazon, I'll put the link below, or if you use a smart home management system like Operto, it is included in their professional plan. So the little device just looks like this, and what it allows us to do is connect all of our Z-Wave enabled smart home devices so that they can easily be managed from a distance. You either have an iPhone or an Android app where you can quickly control all of your different properties, or you can connect it to your smart home management system like we do. So this guy does everything when it comes to the smart home ecosystem. The next piece and the piece that has the biggest impact on the guest experience is your smart lock. This right here is the Yale Assure and over here I have the August, uh, the August smart lock. The Yale Assure Lock is ideal for your single family home listings or if there's no concerns on changing the lock. Uh, it's a very robust system. It is Z-Wave enabled. With this device, we can provide a custom code for every guest that is only active at their check-in time and immediately deactivates at their checkout time. It's going to avoid any early access unless, of course, you've arranged an early check-in with the guest. And of course, a very important piece is having a keyed smart lock. A lot of uh, these new devices are keyless. We do not like those devices. We've had to smash them off in the past because they just stop working. And when they stop working, even with that little battery backup option, it just, it, things fail. Technology fails and we like having the good old fashioned key on site to help us. What we do is we actually put a lock box somewhere discreetly at the property so that if all else fails, the guests can still get in quickly without us having to send a person. Now, the August option is perfect for homeowners associations slash strata slash counter corporations, whatever you call it in your area, because there's no physical change to the exterior deadbolt. This is installed inside the property, making it very discreet or incognito, if you will. Um, it's a perfect option for your homeowners association. There is also a keypad option. So you can add that little keypad onto your smart home lock so that your guests don't have to download any additional apps. They can just use this to get in and out of your property. The next piece is a bit of a home monitoring device, which allows us to track a whole bunch of different variables at any time in the home. 
It is the Nitatmo Healthy Home Monitoring Coach or Home Monitoring Coach, whatever you call it. It is a small, discrete device. It's kind of fun to unbox like any other piece of technology. There's one button on the top, very easy to use. This is the box. And what do we do with this guy? A couple of things. Number one, we monitor the decibels of sound produced by our guests. We immediately know if there's a party or if they're playing music too loud, and we can shut that down before it becomes a bigger problem. Or if there's a noise complaint that you just don't believe to be true because you've got good quality guests, you can actually go in and you can see the history. So you can say, hey, Sally, you're lying. There was no noise at all. I've got a sonometer to track that. We're also monitoring air quality with this device. Uh, is my guest smoking or are they doing something that they're not supposed to be doing? Uh, you can quickly shut those things down and it monitors the temperature and humidity of your unit at any given time. What we love about that is the ability to troubleshoot or to identify issues with our furnace before the guest actually arrives. So for example, if your Nitatmo is saying that the internal temperature is only 10 degrees, but you know your furnace is set at 20 and it's just not increasing, well, then there's probably something wrong with your home heating system. And the final piece that we believe to be essential in the day-to-day -day operations of a short-term rental is none other than a smart home thermostat. This is the Echo B3 Lite, which is compatible with many different types of heating systems, but there are other pieces out there as well, such as the Stell Pro Smart Home Thermostat, which is very easy, very Z-Wave enabled. It is an incredible device for electric baseboard heat. It's uh, often kind of hard to find a smart home thermostat that is compatible with those devices. So in your Echo B3 box, um, again, just like any other piece of technology, it's kind of fun to actually open this device, but you see your little thermostat, that's it. Super easy for the guest to use. And when it's connected to a robust smart home ecosystem, you can do things such as setting minimum and maximum temperatures. But what we love about it is the ability to reduce our heating costs by upwards of 20%. And how we do that is A, by reducing the temperature overnight. So if the guest has it set at 26, we'll reduce that temperature by three or four degrees between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. But also because we have such a robust and such a well-connected smart home ecosystem, when a guest departs, they enter a checkout code on this device. Let's say it's 0000. They pump that in, they press check mark. As soon as they do that, it's gonna reduce the temperature to our uh, vacant temperature, usually 17 degrees Celsius, um, which is gonna again contribute to reducing your overall heating costs. With the smart home, smart things, hub, you can connect so many pieces of technology and effectively turn your house into a big computer, controlling every little aspect from the lights, to the appliances, to the lock, to the heating at any given time. So again, I would say this is the most essential piece to your smart home ecosystem. This allows us to work faster and smarter. We can control our properties from anywhere in the world at any given moment. It really has um, been a competitive advantage for us in making our business more profitable and more efficient. We're able to reduce risks at our property all from the touch of a button, which you know makes it possible for us to manage 7,000 reservations at 60 properties and to focus on what's important, generating revenue for our homeowners and generating revenue for us as a business. Like I said, we've been in business about four years, over 7,000 reservations, and I'm very excited to be back here on YouTube producing videos for you, uh, my masterclass on the short-term rental world. So make sure to stay tuned. And of course, please leave a comment on what you'd like to hear me talk about in the short-term rental world. Is it revenue management? Is it day-to-day -day operations when it comes to managing the physical asset? Or is it more of the entrepreneur side in general, like managing people and money and all that good stuff? Please leave a comment below. Make sure to connect with me on social media. You can visit my website, jordanhipson.com or find me on social media, just pretty much Jordan Hipson everywhere. And also make sure to check out my company, Oversee Real Estate Management. We are stay oversee on all the social media and then just oversee.ca, oversea.ca. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon. Make sure to check out my other videos in this series on managing short-term rentals effectively and at scale.